I hope y'all are doing well and enjoying the beautiful weather that we've had this week. Today's activity is going to get us back outside for some more fresh air because we're going to do a horse race. But first, we need a horse. If you have a stick horse at home, then you are already ready to go. But if not, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make one. First off, you're going to need a pool noodle. Now, if you don't have a pool noodle at home, then you can go ahead and maybe get a broomstick and use a sock and stuff it and stick it on the end of the stick and tie that on. And you can go ahead and use that as well for a horse and decorate it as we're going to decorate this one. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it with a noodle. So first you need a noodle. You're also going to need a fat rubber band or a hair band. You'll need a long ribbon or possibly a shoelace will work too to secure your noodle and use it as the bridle in the reins. And then for a mane and ears, we have several options. You can use a thick fabric, a stiff material. You could use a heavy felt, whatever colors, or you could use denim, which is what I used on this horse here or you could use a heavy cotton type fabric and you can, it can be different patterns, different colors, whatever you have. Another option is to use yarn for the hair or you could also use curling ribbon. Use curling ribbon, you can put a chunk on the top like this and then you can put a couple more chunks down the back and you will have yourself a really fancy horse. So you have some different options for hair. You will also need a scissors, a hot glue gun, and this is where mom is gonna to have to help you out with the, the cutting and the hot gluing. And you'll either need some googly eyes or a Sharpie. And that's it, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with our pool noodle. You're gonna bend it over about eight inches like that. You bend it over about eight inches, that's gonna be your head. And then I'm gonna secure it down with my rubber band. That makes it easier uh, when you come to choose your bridle. Um, for my bridle, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll choose this purple ribbon. I'm gonna tie that around where your rubber band is. Tie it nice and tight. I'm going to tie it in a knot like that. So you have your bridle. And then I'm also going to go ahead and tie the ends in a knot. And now I have my reins. I have purple reins, purple reins. Okay. Anyways, back to the horse. I'm going to go ahead and take off that rubber band because we don't need it there anymore and I might want to use it on my hair again. All right. Now for the hair on, on this horse, I glued on some denim. So you're going to get a strip of material, maybe three inches wide and eight to 10 inches long and you glue it on and then I cut fringe on it on the front and the back for the hair and then I used another strip of denim for the ears. But for this horse today, I'm going to go ahead and use some yarn. You're going to hang on to one end and you're going to wrap it. Ooh, sorry. You're going to wrap it around and around and around and around several times between your hand and your elbow. Like this. Keep going. You have a really thick piece. I'm going to stop here, but you probably want a lot thicker than that. But I'm going to stop here. I'm going to cut it off just so you get the idea. And then about a quarter of the way down, I already cut another piece of ribbon. I'm going to tie that tight. So it's like that. I'm going to come through with my scissors 
and cut the ends so you have a short end and then you have a long end down here. I'm going to go through again, cut with my scissors, and that's going to be my horse's hair. So I would probably cut a lot more than that, but I'm just, in the interest of time, I'm going to show you that. So there you go. I have my horse. She's got her bangs and her mane. Now you can either hot glue that on top of the head, or I'm just going to pick another ribbon that I have, and you're going to slide it through. And then I'm just going to use the ribbon to tie my horse's hair on top of the head. So you're, you're going to want a nice, tight knot on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and the ends into a point so that secured my hair and then that'll be my horse's ears see that was pretty easy and then the last thing you're going to want to do you can either get some googly eyes and use your hot glue gun or have mom use a hot glue gun and glue some eyes on or if you don't have a hot glue gun or if you don't want to use that you can go ahead And use a sharpie and you can draw some eyes on there and voila now you have a horse and we are ready for the races now don't forget to give your horse a really cool name so I am going to take Bella and Denim outside with me so that we can go have our races so I will see you outside in just a minute Okay, our horse race today is called a derby race. A derby race is for three-year-old horses. They run a little bit more than one time around the track, which equals 12 furlongs or a mile and a quarter. And it usually takes them just over two minutes. So our track is not quite that big, um, but I have marked it with our water bottles that we've used for other things. And we're gonna go around it two times. So remember to cheer for your favorite rider and horse. You can cheer for either James, who's riding our horse, Denim, or you can cheer for me, Miss Carrie. I'll be riding Bella. So now we're gonna go line up for the race. I'll start the music and we'll get ready. Remember to cheer for your favorite person or your favorite rider. Here we go. Oh man, it looks like James and Denim won by a nose. Great job to our riders and our horses. Now, you can go set up your own track at home and run laps with your horse as many as you want. I've gotta go get my horses back to the stable, so come back here tomorrow and we can have more fun horsing around. See you tomorrow.